Uh, thank you, Matt. Um, so uh, we can get started now. And I'm just gonna go through these slides and feel free to look at our website as well as the links that Matt is dropping in the chat to follow along our slides. And this is also a recorded event. So uh, if you ever need to step out at any point, it'll be uploaded to our YouTube. So here are our winter GM slide links as well as uh, you can also check out our Instagram bio there for the link as well. And also we have a really cool raffle. So stay tuned until the end to see how you can win uh, some ACM stickers as well as other merch. Lastly, uh, before I pass it off to our wonderful president, Matt, if you needed help at any point throughout uh, the presentation, there's our website, Discord, as well as all of our ACM links right there. And also feel free to ask questions in the chat. Thanks, Christina. Really excited to have everyone here, even if virtually. Uh, my name is Matt. My pronouns are he, him. I'm a fourth year CS and math econ major, and I'm also the current president of ACM at UCLA. I see a lot of familiar faces in the participant section, but also quite a few new people. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about our club, but you'll see during this entire GM, we're going to juggle kinds of two groups of people. People who have been with us for a long time and want to know what's new, and also people who want to try something new or haven't given us a chance yet and want to find what we're all out what we we'll want to find out what we're all about. So you'll hear more about that throughout the entire presentation. Talking a little bit about what this club is, we're this huge tech club on campus called ACM and UCLA. We're actually a bunch of clubs in a trench coat and you'll hear about committees and board and all these different ways that we divide up what we do by interest. But as a common club, what our job is to do is to serve everyone who's interested in computer science and tech. You don't need to be a CS major. You don't need to have been coding from the womb. If you're interested, that's all that we ask for and want to support you throughout the journey. Beyond that, we have a ton of events for people of varying levels. If it's your first time programming ever, Hack is going to have you covered with Hack Sprint. If you want to make your own video game, Studio's got you covered there too. And if you want to teach other people, we have so many opportunities to do that. So throughout the entire presentation, we'll be kind of highlighting different ways you can get involved, regardless of your skill level or commitment. At the very end, we'll do an FAQ and we'll also have a tabling portion where you can get to meet most of us who are cool and me. Uh, and that's a great opportunity for you to ask questions. But in the meantime, you can ask questions in the Q&A function in the Zoom webinar or in the chat below. We'll be answering those questions. Last but not least, uh, due to popular demand, we've enabled the live CC or transcription feature for this webinar. So if you want, you can turn that on and you'll see all of our beautiful words show up on the screen. And yeah, so we'll go on to this next slide. I'm going to really you know, hit this tricolon thing. Sorry, go back one slide. Um, big on tricolon, I'm going to give you three things that ACM really does. The first thing is about learning. We're at UCLA. We're here to learn throughout our degree. But we also want to provide ways for you to get hands-on project experience or learn topics that aren't necessarily covered within the computer science major. And you'll see all sorts of computer science represented in what we do. Beyond that, we have some great people to learn from. Some of the people who are in ACM have published apps on the App Store, made video games and game jams, uh, are lifelong teachers, and are otherwise interested in sharing their knowledge. I want to make sure this is an opportunity for you to learn all those things and learn things like teamwork skills and public speaking and everything else. The other thing ACM is, is a place to explore. Our big aspect is to let you touch things that aren't necessarily covered by the CS curriculum. Is there a video game class? Not yet, but you can check out ACM Studio to see how you can make your own video game. If you're interested in cybersecurity or natural language processing or all these other topics that aren't typically covered frequently in the curriculum, we've got you covered. And beyond that, we want to help you explore the intersections between computer science and everything else in the world. And you'll hear a lot more about that with our aptly named ACM Explore Moonshot. And last slide, if not least. Uh, we're all about finding community as well. I'll be honest with you, uh, it's kind of a bummer that we're back online again. And we've been online for quite a bit of while. And we know that UCLA can be big, scary, and sometimes downright hard to find friends in. So a big focus for us this quarter is creating smaller, more niche, and targeted events. We can build a community around things like building web apps, but also around things like anime, like watching the new Attack on Titan season. We have a lot of different ways for you to get involved in our community, and we're really excited to have you here. If you go to the next slide, you'll see some beautifully uh, laid out photos of our community, um, masks on, of course. And you know, this is a good time to mention that for now we'll be online until the school shifts back. But we have a lot of different ways for you to get involved. If you just want to grab a meal with us, or you want to really get down in it and make a project, 
that's going to be available for you too. Come to the next slide. I think this is my last expositional thing. I want to reaffirm our commitment to equity, diversity, and inclusion, right? So at the end of the day, our goal really is to make tech accessible. And I mean accessible in the it's easy to learn way, but accessible also in the everyone should be able to access it, regardless of their background or disability. And we're actively working on making this better. You'll hear more about this from wonderful initiatives like JEDI and IMPACT that really focus on blending in uh, EDI into ACM's core. But beyond that, what it means is that we're receptive to your feedback. If you tell us that you want live transcription, we'll do that. If you want us to make our presentations better for color contrast, so colorblind people can still better participate and understand our content, we'll do that too. And we're receptive to what the community needs. Beyond that, we'll be going out to bat for your concerns. Uh, last quarter, we ran our town hall and we'll be running it again in the spring. If you have ways you want to make the tech community better, we're here to help make that happen. And there's a bunch of wonderful people here at ACM who are fighting a good fight just with you. Anyways, uh, that wraps up the most boring part, which is me talking. If we go to the next slide, we'll talk a little bit about and we'll hear a lot more from the wonderful people in ACM. You're going to hear from the eight committees that power us covering a wide variety of topics. You'll also hear, hear from board and several initiatives that do a lot of the behind the scenes and the cutting edge work that powers ACM. So I want to thank all of you for your time. Really appreciate it. I'll be posting links in the chat. If you have questions, hit us up. Without further ado, I'll pass it off to Christian and Peter to talk about ACM Studio. Hello. Hello. Um, my name is Peter. Uh, I am a fourth year pronouns he, him computer science major, uh, co president of ACM Studio. I am Christian, currently a fourth year CS uh, student, uh, pronouns he, him, co president of Studio. Next slide. All right, yeah, so our mission is to create a community, community for students interested in any aspect of game development. And the one thing I'd really like to emphasize here is that Studio really is a community. Um, we just help foster developers. And when I say developer, I mean anyone who's interested in game development. So whether you're a programmer, a writer, an artist, uh, a musician, um, game development is truly an interdisciplinary field. Uh, and we strive our best to help provide uh, resources um, to allow anyone to to learn and participate in. And um, like the majority of ACM, actually all of ACM, um, little to no experience is uh, required. So please uh, consider com coming out to our events. Uh, Christian can uh, talk about it more in, in our next slide. Yeah, uh, real quick on the uh, on uh, the previous slide. Sorry. Okay. Um, on top of like developing games, we all we also like have a really big focus on community. So even if you you know you don't have the time to develop a game with us, feel free to join our server and you know just talk about your favorite game that you played recently. Uh, yeah. Um, and so yes, so both this is both uh, at our current members who kind of want to know what's new, and also our. Uh, and new joinees that might want to know what we're up to this quarter. Um, Student Run Studios is our annual project track uh, that's beginning really, really soon. Um, and it's a project that happens in the winter and spring where we develop fully fledged games from the ground up. Uh, and so no matter what your skill set is, we believe that it has a place at Studio, whether it be like, you know, programming to implement the uh, game mechanics or drawing or writing, uh, writing about the story, we believe everyone has a skill set to contribute to these games. Um, so even if, you know, you haven't like made a game yourself, none of that is requ uh, required or expected. Um, but if you do want to get caught up to speed with some of the like facets of game development, we're also running tutorials uh, throughout this quarter uh, from week three to week seven. So feel free to join our Discord uh, to learn more about this for programming and good art practices for games, uh, stuff like that. Uh, next slide. Yeah, and so if you want to learn more about how uh, we kind of make games and what game ideas we're up to, uh, feel free to come to our winter pitch meeting, uh, which is going to be next week, uh, January 10th. That's going to be Monday, 7 to 9 p.m. PSD. Uh, it will be on Zoom. Um, and beyond just talking about the game ideas that we're going to implement, uh, we're also going to be talking about a couple more uh, fun events that you know Studio has never done before, such as uh, industry events from alumnus, uh, uh, from alumni, and uh, a special guest speaker, um, and a podcast that's releasing pretty soon, made by Peter. Um, yeah, any other comments, Peter? 
Uh, now I'd just like to wrap up that we'll also be doing a collaborative game jam with UCSD. So it's also a great opportunity to uh, meet developers um, cross campus. Um, so yeah, we'll be outlining events uh, during our winter pitch meeting as well as the games for uh, students who run studios. So uh, please come out if you can make it. And yeah, uh, here we have linked the sizzle reel. In the interest of time, we're not gonna play it, but feel free to look at the slides at your own time and kind of see some of the games that we've made. We don't have to play all this, but thank you. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Stereo. Uh, my name is Jacob, pronounce he, him. I'm president of ACM ICPC. ICPC is all about algorithms and competitive programming. Um, and you might ask, what is competitive programming? The way I see it, competitive programming is all about time. So uh, two kinds of time, both the time that, like working on reducing the time it takes for you to code your solution, as well as the time it takes for the computer to uh, process a tricky algorithms problem and output the right answer. Um, so next slide. Um, yeah, is there something? Yeah, okay. cool. So ICPC doesn't just organize a team for the large ICPC competition. Uh, we also run workshops that are designed to get you two to be a competitive programmer. And uh, next slide. Our most Beginner friendly workshops are beginner track this quarter called beginner track plus plus introducing everyone to the joys of competitive programming and CS32 interview track, which is synced up with uh, the CS32 class and it's designed to help you take the concepts that you learn from uh, Carrie or Smallbird and turn them into uh, knowledge that you can use to attack interview problems. So if you learned about heaps or uh, stacks now apply them to a problem where it's not immediately obvious how to use them, but that key idea can get you to the solution. Next slide. We also have some more niche events for people who are already into competitive programming or like a challenge or want to come out and meet people. Uh, so there's team training, which happens on Sunday. Uh, that I re would uh, recommend that you reach out to an ICPC officer if you're interested in joining. There is advanced track happening on Wednesdays, and there. I mean, this is not a particularly difficult or niche event, but we are holding the ICVC Cyber Puzzle Hunt in collaboration with Cyber in Week Five, and this is a no-code problem-solving event. So just the, the pure problem-solving, without any of the annoying bugs or implementation. Uh, next slide. So, I get it. ICPC. What ICPC does may be a bit less familiar to most of you compared to the other committees. So we are holding our own mini winter GM uh, this Monday at 7 p.m. where we will answer all your questions and go into this quarter's activities in a bit more detail. So uh, this QR code or this link, link tree uh, slash ACM ICPC UCLA has the Zoom link to this event as well as links to more of ICPC's resources. Thank you, Matt. Next slide. And here's the obligatory uh, picture of our in-person events last quarter. We're hoping that we'll be able to do stuff like this again. It gets really lit, but um, that may not be up to us. So for the moment, all of our events, just like every other committee are online. Uh, and now on to design. Uh, and uh, Crystal, take it away. All righty. Hello, everyone. Welcome to ACM Design. Next slide, please. So our mission is to create a community passionate about design and user experience at UCLA. So whether that be through graphic design, UX, UI design, 3D design, any sorts of design out there, we're here to serve you. So whatever process you're in, if you're just starting out, you're switching career paths, you need resources to build your portfolio, or you're learning more about the opportunities within design, 
Um, anything you need, we want to be the community where you come to for anything design related. Next slide, please. So a little bit about what we do on the graphic design side, we create all the beautiful graphics that you see um, across all of ACM at UCLA's social platforms. So if that's something you're interested in, we do teach you how to create those graphics if you wish, um, if you're interested in the graphic design side um, and uh, in terms of like how to brand uh, certain organizations and how to like work with these different softwares. This is one avenue and one uh, aspect of design that we work on. Next slide, please. And in terms of UX UI design and product design, we also work on a lot of different projects. So here you can see some examples of the different projects that we've worked on in the past. Um, we have some exciting projects that we internally are working on right now that we're excited to push out sometime this quarter. So hopefully you guys will see those. Um, and so if you're more interested in kind of working on the project side of design, we do have a really exciting new event, flagship event, that's going to happen in the middle of this quarter. It's called I for Design. It's the best way to get involved if you're just starting out and you want project experience. So stay tuned for that on all of our socials. It's a beginner-friendly uh, design competition. So if anyone is interested, uh, we encourage you to sign up. Next slide, please. The best way to get involved is through our workshop series. So here we teach everything from softwares like Figma or Adobe XD, introduce you to all aspects of design and opportunities in design, such as UX research or ideation or interaction design. We also bring in industry professionals to talk about what it's like um, being a product designer or being a UX UI designer in industry or within tech or within corporate or whatnot. Um, so here, if you're still exploring, um, any aspect of design and you want to learn more, this is a great way to start and also network with us and um, be involved in our community. So that's it on design. I am going to pass it off to our wonderful co-presidents of ACM Cyber. So Josh Henry, take it away. Uh, hello. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Josh. I'm a fourth year CS major, pronounce he him. I'm Henry. I'm a third year CS major. Um, and also he, him. Okay, awesome. Um, so just to get started, I just want to talk a little bit about who ACM is, or ACM Cyber is and what we do. So our mission for Cyber is to create a community where people of all backgrounds can come learn about cybersecurity. So whether you're a cyber enthusiast, a pro, or you just want to know what the heck cybersecurity is, feel free to come check us out. Uh, next slide. So this past fall, we had workshops on web hacking and it was in Bolter, ninth, Bolter Hall, ninth floor. Uh, just a quick note, we're really sorry that it was on the ninth floor. Uh, we promise we won't do it again. Those stairs were not great. Um, but otherwise, uh, we covered topics on web hacking. So we looked at you know web cookies, cross-site scripting, SQL injection, and a bunch of other cool stuff. And if this all sounds really intimidating, don't worry. Officers are here to break it down for you. Uh, next slide. So that's all really exciting, but what about this year? Uh, so we're bringing in some new things. So first off, we're bringing in the big guns, uh, Kerry himself. So he'll be doing a guest industry talk about his experiences working in cybersecurity at Semantic and Google. So if you love Kerry, or if you love learning more about what it's like in industry, feel free to come out to that. Uh, in addition, I don't know if any of you guys have heard of like out, outside or like exercise. I don't really know what that is either, but apparently we're going to do like a CTF in real life. So if you want to come play Capture the Flag with us, and if Omicron leaves us alone, then get excited for that. Uh, next slide. Yeah, so just another note about CTFRL. We have a little myth that it's cursed. But anyway, um, yeah, so this quarter, we'll be bringing our file analysis workshop. And this includes, um, you know, like we'll be analyzing files, looking at their metadata, and we're also doing some packet capture and steganography. We also have a special guest talk from Will about smart contracts. And this specific workshop track is aimed to be like a little bit less code intensive. We'll be using different tools such as Wireshark and also a lot of different tools that have already built into your current computer system. Uh, next slide, please. And in addition, we have our Save It a Row. We are currently doing recruitment for our CTF team. And over there, you can see our cyber officers lined up to do the symbols. Um, yeah. Oh, and on week five, we have the puzzle hunt with ICPC. Um, please come out. We have written a lot of puzzles for you guys to solve. Next slide, please. Doo -doo. 
Yep. That is it for Cyber. And next up, we have um, Teach Out. Yeah, Teach Out A. Um, Sophie. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sophie. I'm the president of Teach LA, pronoun she, her, um, and I'm a third year applied math major. Um, Teach LA is basically, as the name implies, our teaching wing. Um, we aim to make computer science education more accessible for students in the Los Angeles area, and we do so through kind of like two different branches. We have our teaching and curriculum team that's like our instructors and our curriculum developers who actually go to the schools, and then we also have our like own in-house dev team that's separate from ACM's dev team, um, and they do a lot of like awesome projects, like something called Learning Labs. We have an in-house editor that they work on, that sort of thing. Um, next slide. So uh, some of the things that we did during fall quarter, uh, we are kind of like revamping our Instagram page, so you should definitely check that out. Um, we also are uh, very committed to um, working with the Jedi stuff, so equity, diversity, and inclusion. Um, so we have something called allyship spaces where we just talk about a lot of different topics related to like accessibility. Um, and then we also revamped our um, onboarding for our instructors. So we wanted to just make uh, the process a lot more streamlined and make it easier for uh, anyone to get involved regardless of their teaching experience. Experience. Um, next slide. In terms of the actual classes that we teach, we teach um, all the way from like elementary schoolers up through high schoolers. So we teach uh, scratch classes, so like introductory programming classes to elementary schoolers. We also have Python classes for middle schoolers and we have artificial intelligence machine learning classes for high schoolers. That's through a partnership actually with um, ACM AI. And yeah, so no experience is required to get involved in any of these classes. We're teachers, so we can definitely help you learn uh, any of the curriculum that you're going to be teaching. But yeah, next slide. Yeah, so next um, I'll pass it off to ACMW, but if you want more information about TeachLA, um, I would advise you to stick around for tabling and I can definitely answer any questions you may have. Okay, hi, I'm Cindy. I'm a fourth year CS and math student, pronoun she, her and I'm the president of ACMW. Um, so uh, our mission is to promote diversity in tech through mentorship, networking, and professional development opportunities. So we're a really safe place for anyone interested in computer science. Uh, next slide. Some of uh, our events that we wrapped up with last quarter um, include our company event with Facebook, A Step Into the Metaverse, um, the class planning workshop put on by our mentorship officers for our mentees in the mentorship program and the negotiation workshop that was taught by um, negotiation expert Megan Karsh from Stanford. Um, and here are some, some of the pictures uh, from those events. So, next slide. Um, so this quarter we will try to continue Continue providing mentorship, networking, and professional opportunities for everyone. What we have confirmed so far include uh, Conscience, which uh, is a series of events that we will be holding weekly. Um, and there are meetings that uh, where we will be talking about social issues in the tech industry, um, as well as Queer Hacks, which is Major League Hacking's first LGBTQ hackathon. And this will be our third annual co-hosting of the hackathon. So if you're interested, please come and check out the workshops that we have prepared for you at Queer Hacks. Uh, we'll also be holding um, Empower Week in week seven, which will be a week-long celebration of diversity and engineering put on by ACMW, uh, IEEE, Watt, SWE, and WE. Um, events that we've held in the past during this week include imposter syndrome workshops, um, painting socials, and grams on Instagram. And lastly, we will be holding holding uh, company events and technical workshops in this quarter. And we will be trying to bring Human Capital and Green Hills events to you guys. So stay tuned for more updates and follow us on social media. Um, I forgot to put the social media in these slides, but you guys can find links to our Instagram, Facebook, and mailing list on our Discord channel. Next slide. And I'll hand it off to AI. Awesome, hi everybody. Uh, my name is Justin. I, I am a fourth year CS student. My pronouns are he, him, uh, and I'm representing ACM AI. 
Next slide, please. So our mission is to grow, grow and develop a community of students interested in AI at UCLA, Los Angeles, and beyond. And the way we do that uh, is through four different branches, but which I'll be talking about a little bit in these next coming slides. Um, Christine. Yeah, so first one, uh, we're gonna talk about our workshops tracks. So this upcoming quarter, we're gonna be offering three different workshops, uh, our beginner, advanced, and advanced plus plus series. Um, so one thing that we like to stress at ACMAI is that uh, we want to have a very low barrier of entry. So it's completely fine if you have no prior experience. Uh, we're here to be a community and for uh, us to enable your learning. Um, so beginner track might be for you. Um, these dates are a little old. This is from uh, last quarter, but uh, keep out on the lookout for um, notifications from us about when they're going to be held this upcoming quarter. Uh, it will be weeks two through nine, though. Next slide. Um, OK, next is our projects. Um, so this is where we take teams of undergraduate students and walk them through a complete machine learning pipeline from um, data acquisition all the way until model evaluation. Um, projects that we worked on in the past were uh, deep learning models to classify plant disease, uh, as well as a model to identify humpback whales. Uh, and for this one, we do expect a little bit of prerequisite knowledge. So uh, if you have advanced track level knowledge, uh, feel free to apply. Um, I don't think we are accepting new members for this uh, terms project teams, but keep an eye out again for our interest form that's gonna be circulating around. Next slide. Uh, for our events team, uh, this is the team that focused more on like diversity and ethics issues within the space of AI. Uh, previously, we've held different uh, speaker panels. This quarter, uh, look out for uh, AI in the context of the coronavirus, as well as uh, potentially a not so technical workshop uh, in, in the winter quarter. Um, yeah, just keep your eyes peeled for those. Next slide. And then finally, our outreach. Uh, as, Sophie, as Sophie kind of touched on, uh, we do a partnership where we go and teach uh, the introductory materials for AI and ML to different high school uh, high schoolers in the nearby area, as well as uh, facilitate a podcast in which we bring figures from historically underrepresented backgrounds to talk about their experiences working in the field so that you can kind of know that you belong as well in the AI space. Next slide. So if any of this is interesting to you at all, please join our community. We'd love to have you. Um, especially like, feel free to drop by the Discord voice channel if you have any questions about the different offerings we have for this quarter or uh, in general. With that said, I think that's all from us. So I'm going to hand it off to Eugene to talk a little bit more about Hack. All right, awesome. Thanks, Justin. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Eugene. Uh, pronouns are he, him. And I'm a fourth year computer science student. Uh, if you attended CS32 lecture yesterday, you might know me as the guy who sang the detox time jingle uh, and nothing else. Hello, I'm Asha. My pronouns are she, her. I'm a third year CS major and a bioinformatics minor, and I'm the other hack president. And with that being said, we are ACM Hack. We're the committee who deals with software development, uh, in particular web and mobile development. So if you're interested in making the next Flash use website or publishing your own app on the App Store, we are the committee for you. Uh, next slide. So our mission statement is to empower the community by providing the means to build amazing things and explore what is possible through code. This is a pretty broad mission statement, which allows us to explore in many different ways, such as workshops, hackathons, community building events, uh, as well as just passionate talkers. Um, and we have a spot for everyone, whether you're a complete beginner or you're a little bit seasoned in software development, we have a place for you. We understand that being in UCLA can be pretty intimidating, especially if you're just getting started in CS. Uh, so we try to make our workshops and events as accommodating as possible. Uh, next slide. So this is just a glimpse at what we did last year. If you are unfamiliar with us, uh, you can kind of see how we've explored uh, our mission statement in different ways. We had our staple web development workshop series, Hack School, uh, which is just our weekly workshops, um, teaching all the different aspects of websites and web development. We had Hack Fam, which is a community building uh, event that join people together uh, and for mentorship and for friends, as well as passionate talks, which was uh, our guest speakers who talked about different aspects and creative applications of technology. Uh, next slide. So this quarter, we are offering our very staple, uh, very 
uh, legacy workshop series, which is called Hexprint, which is all about mobile development. This year, uh, we are very excited to announce that we're bringing back iOS development, which we haven't done in a couple of years. And we are doing it with Swift, which is the hottest and the newest way to do iOS development natively uh, on the iOS store. Um, so we're gonna do weekly workshops in the beginning, teaching you all about the different fundamentals, as well as walking you through different demos and exercises. And towards the later half of the, qu the quarter, you're gonna have your very own chance to build your own app. Uh, next slide. Also happening this quarter is our beginner friendly work hackathon Hoth. Depending on the state of COVID, Hoth will either be completely online or hybrid. And this year the theme will be related to social good. So if you are interested in that, keep the lookout for applications and more details coming in a couple of weeks. Next slide. And if anything that we've done sounds interesting to you, or if you want to learn more about the events Eugene talked about, feel free to follow us on any of our socials on our campsite as seen there. And included on the top of that campsite is our brand new hack discord, which we're introducing new to this quarter. It's a great way to interact with other people who attend hack events, as well as our hack officers, and get to learn more about how our events work. And next slide, I'll hand it off to board. All right, hello, everybody. Um, my name is Tina, pronouns she, her and I'm the external vice president. So after going through all these eight committees and learning about other wonderful events, uh, we will introduce board, which is comprised of ACM board external and ACM board internal. And what we do is basically uh, kind of make sure that all of the events that all the eight committees have can run and uh, run smoothly. So on my side on external, we interface with all of you, the CS department and company affiliates. Next slide, please. So we do a variety of things, but we also do hold some events as well with companies and with all of you. So last quarter, we had a social in collaboration with Explore Tech and UPE called Tech in the Park. We also had a Meet the Company series and we hosted a computer science career fair in collaboration with UPE and the CS department. Next slide, please. As for this quarter and hopefully next quarter, we are hoping to do more general member socials and Keep an eye out also for general member merch, which will hopefully be dropping sometime this quarter or next quarter. So if you want to rep ACM, you will have your opportunity very soon. Uh, we are also hoping to have alumni panels and events, as well as Founders Fireside, which is a event held in collaboration with UPE, which uh, uh, features some founders from startup companies. And this quarter, something new is that we actually started some new Moonshots initiatives, including ethics reform, ASIM Explore, and transfer support. And you'll learn a lot more about these um, after we go over some of our um, board internal and external initiatives. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, and then for our link tree, you will find all of the relevant social media. So how you found this event is probably through one of our social medias, and that is from our marketing team on external. So make sure to follow us to keep updated on the latest news and events. Um, yeah. And then I'll now hand it off to Evan. Hello, everyone. So as Tina mentioned, there are two parts to board internal and external. So my name is Evan. I'm ACM's internal vice president. And what internal does is a lot of infrastructure work that allows ACM to function. I know that doesn't sound very fun right now, but it is actually quite interesting. On the next slide, you'll see all of the teams that comprise internal. We have operations who you heard from earlier today, Christina, along with her two interns, Sujay and Amanda, who put on this entire event. And then we have internal affairs who does um, officer camaraderie, such as socials and retreats, the internship program, which is in full swing right now. And if you're interested, you can apply again next fall. The dev team who created the website through which you got the Zoom link to attend GM and Jedi, which you will hear from in just a bit. And Matt alluded to at the very beginning of GM, who promotes justice, equity, diversity, and inclusion within ACM. Just to give you a taste of what you might see internal doing within the this quarter, on the next slide, you'll see our ACM Clubhouse, which is located in Bolter Hall. We'll be reopening the Clubhouse on January 18th, um, depending on COVID status and protocols, for the community to use and to hang out in. 
And if you attend some of our workshops, if they're in person, you might be inside the ACM Clubhouse. On our next slide, you'll see all of the things that our dev team is doing. Our dev team is committed to open sourcing all of ACM's projects. All of our projects, the website, the Discord bot that you'll interact with very shortly, and our membership portal are all on GitHub for you to look at and contribute. If you want to contribute to our dev team, feel free. Open it, take, tackle one of the open issues, and somebody will be there to help you out. And additionally, as a small teaser, uh, there is this open source ACM project that we are working on. And you can check out that link if you're interested. Next, I'm going to introduce ACM's initiatives. Um, and I think John Dang will speak here. Hey, everyone. I'm John. I am ACM's Moonshots advisor. Um, and ACM Moonshots are essentially special projects that are aimed at either internally improving ACM or improving the CS and tech community overall at UCLA. Um, and over this next quarter, during winter quarter, we have a few public facing moonshots um, that I think many of you will be really interested in. Um, first is uh, ACM Explore. So ACM Explore is a uh, initiative designed to have ACM uh, put on workshops and initiatives in order to um, explore different topics um, and intersections with technology that haven't been explored yet by ACM events or any of our committees. Um, one of the explore initiatives that we'll be having this quarter is Tech and Society. This um, initiative will try to explore um, the intersection of technology and society uh, with an emphasis on public policy, ethics, and law. Um, a lot of the topics and activities that we might be going over will include topics like data privacy, surveillance capitalism. We might have panel discussions and mixers with people who are working at, on the intersection of tech and society, um, things like public policy, and much more. Uh, go to the next slide. Another one of our Explore uh, moonshots is uh, an initiative based on quantum computing. Um, this is an initiative designed to um, give uh, UCLA students like yourselves a project-based introduction to quantum computing uh, with the goal of being able to do this without any previous knowledge in quantum computing. Um, and some of these workshops might uh, potentially include um, intersections of quantum computing with brain-computer interfaces, VR and AR, um, or bioinformatics or computational biology. Um, you go to the next slide. And lastly, the last of our public facing moonshots that um, you might be interested in this quarter is um, transfer support. So historically, um, I don't think we've been doing the greatest job in supporting a lot of the transfer students who are interested in computer science and the tech community at UCLA. And this moonshot initiative is designed to improve that. Um, so some of the things we have planned for this quarter are first a transfer panel series where we'll be inviting a series of uh, transfer students, current transfer students and transfer uh, alumni um, about their experiences in the computer science community or outside of the computer science community trying to go into uh, technology. We'll be having interviews and mixer sessions with them um, in order to hopefully be able to better um, enable transfer students who are currently here at UCLA to integrate with the tech community. Uh, and secondly, we also want to do some resource collection uh, with um, transfer uh, with resources that might be useful for transfer students by either working with the department um, or making our own website that will consolidate a lot of the resources that transfers might need in order to succeed at UCLA. Um, so those are the public facing initiatives and moonshots that uh, we'll be working on this quarter. Um, if you want to stay up to date with them, um, these are still kind of in the planning phases, but we're going to have more information out soon. Please just stay up to date with ACM socials. Uh, on sign up our newsletter if you really want the most up-to-date information on any of these new shots. Uh, without further ado, I'll pass it off to Jetta. Hello, I'm Halia. Um, I'm Pranita Sheher. I am the Jedi Director of ACM, and I'm a third-year Cognitive Science and English major. So Jedi is, um, well, that stands for Justice, Equity, Diversity, Inclusion, and basically what we do is we improve EDI within ACM. Um, and so we can be like pretty free form. So sometimes we do events and other times we do more internal things. So last quarter, some of the things that we did was we put on an allyship space, which is basically um, a space for us to discuss some kind of particular EDI topic. Um, and we did it as a picnic, so it was really nice. And then what we also did was we helped with our onboarding session for our interns. So then we presented about things like imposter syndrome, uh, microaggressions, inclusive language, and things like that. 
And then sometimes we also just want to provide a space for um, our members to like de-stress or just um, like express like gratitude like during a hard quarter or something. So we also held an event like that where um, you could write gratitude notes for your friends and give them gift bags. You can go on to the next slide. Okay, so then for this quarter, uh, we'll basically just be continuing on with similar things. So in particular, what we're gonna focus on is greater support within our community. Um, and so basically what we just did is we sent out a survey to all of our um, officers and interns, asking them about like how they felt about being an ACM or maybe like something that they might wanna change. So then we'll, we'll be like looking at those responses and um, trying to improve ACM's culture in the long run and to make it even more inclusive and supportive as possible. And then another thing that we're gonna focus on is creating more LGBTQ centered spaces for our members. So we'll probably be having like events or socials that are um, focused on the queer community. Next slide, please. And um, so our website actually is not <laughs> that updated, but if you want to learn more, then you can check the link that we put there. Or if um, you want like more up-to-date things and you can just reach out to me directly. So that's my email right there. Or um, maybe it's more convenient for you, but you can find me on the ACM Discord if you're already in it. Um, I should be there like on the sidebar because they put our roles there. So um, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or if you're interested. Oh, and then um, we'll go on to our last initiative, which is Impact by Maya. Hi, I'm Maya. My pronouns are she, her. I'm a third year computer science major with a minor in environmental systems and society. I am the Impact Director for this year. Um, Impact is a part of ACM that is trying to build a community for people that are focused on or interested in or focused on the intersection of tech with things like social justice, ethics, public policy. In the past, we've had a policy pitch-a-thon, which is kind of like a hackathon, except you wrote law instead of code for issues like data privacy and sustainability. Um, this past quarter, one of our main things was um, a careers in socially impactful tech uh, workshop series where you could actually meet people who do have careers in the space between tech and um, social justice. Next slide, please. This quarter, we have a tech ethics workshop series where you can come out to learn about the ethics issues that are surrounding hot topics like cryptocurrency and NFTs, um, labor issues in tech companies, and then also tech's in impact on the environment. You don't have to have any previous experience. You don't have to have come to any of our prior events to join. You just need passion and, and a willingness to learn these things. We also have a blog that you can write for. It's ACM at UCLA on Medium. You can like find it linked in some places. Um, I want people, I want you guys to write for us. I want to see what people are interested in. So you're more than welcome to write for us about tech plus society issues that you're interested in. And then finally, our other initiative this quarter is a fireside chat series where you can meet um, people who are working in tech and impact careers and build up your network. So yeah, next slide, please. And the best way to find out, of our, uh, find out about our events is to join the ACM newsletter. There will be resources for you to join that. Um, you can also email us um, at the given email. It's very lonely, so please hit us with an email. And then you can check out our website to see in detail some of the things we've done, read our blog posts. And yeah, thank you. And I'll pass it back to Ward or whoever's next. Yeah, hello everyone, it's me again. Sorry about that. Um, so currently the ACM membership portal is under construction. So our dev team is hard at work at that. So there is no membership portal code for this event, but there will be soon. And next, everyone's favorite part of general meetings, the FAQs. I'll try to go over these quickly since you all here are to talk, you all are here to talk to the committees, and that's what's most important. This one is pretty important though. So ACM's COVID policy winter, for winter quarter is going to reflect what the school's policy is. Currently, all ACM events will be online until at least January 18th. You can see all of our um, more elaborate COVID policies at, on our website, and any updates to ACM's COVID policies will be communicated there. I want nothing more than to see everyone in person, but we have to do that safely. So if and when we're able to do that, you'll see updates published to that website. So keep an eye on that. Our next FAQ is about if we need any private prior experience to join ACM. And the answer is no. 
Um, you can come into ACM with zero experience in any of your topic of interest, and we will train you throughout all of our workshops and classes so to, you know, for you to go from zero to hero and become an expert. Our next FAQ is about the time commitment, and this is really about, about yourself. You can get involved as much or as little as you want, and you can take it as, as you know, as your schedule allows. If you want to become more involved at the beginning, but find yourself overwhelmed by the quarter, there's no shame in you know, dropping an event or not coming to a workshop for a single week. Lastly, how can you get involved in ACM? You can attend any ACM event and activity, and for the time being, the best way to interact with us is through our Discord. Additionally, you can find all of our events listed on our event calendar, which is also on our website. Um, and I'd bookmark that link as well, in addition to the COVID policy document. We've got a couple, like one last FAQ, which is, can you join multiple committees? And yes, you can, as long as your time you know, allows that. And be sure to you know, enjoy the rest of college as well. Join as many committees as you want. But again, time commitment is up to your own, own discretion. Lastly, right. we have a raffle. I think Christina is going to take care of that. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Evan. Um, realized I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Christina, uh, pronouns she, her. I'm the operations director and a third year CSE major. So uh, thank you for sticking along with us so far. Uh, and because of that, you get to hear about our wonderful winter GM raffle. So make sure to follow ACM on Instagram, like our most recent post, as well as tag two friends who are either at GM or would be interested in learning about ACM, and you'll get the opportunity to win ACM stickers and cool Facebook merch. All right, so moving on, we can actually get started with the winter GM tabling and social. And so this gives you the opportunity to learn more about each committee and initiative by chatting with all of our amazing officers. So please, if you haven't already join the discord, this will be central to all a lot of communication on ACM, especially as things are more virtual this quarter. So uh, scan this with your phone, do um, copy that link. The link is also in the chat. Um, and once you hop into the Discord, um, it's really important that you get verified so that you get access to our entire Discord server, which has so many cool resources. But as of right now, if you don't have time to get verified, that's fine. You'll still be able to access all of the Winter GM tabling and be able to talk to officers still, but just something to keep in mind. All right, and then when you're on Discord, if you're not familiar, uh, you have two options here. One is to chat with fellow students in the text channels. Uh, we also have separate voice channels and I included screenshots he here of what the Discord is laid out as. It's also titled um, as Winter GM as a category. So it should be at the very top um, as soon as you join our Discord. So uh, just for easy navigation, feel free to chat in any of the voice channels as well as um, in the text chats if you are more comfortable doing so. And also if anything goes wrong, if you have technical difficulties, if you have technical difficulties that come up at any point, uh, please uh, get a moderator's attention for anything. Also, I will be staying on the Zoom along with Sujay and Amanda, who are my uh, operations interns, and we'll be staying on until around 8 p.m. to address any technical issues. And you may also ping us on Discord using the at admin feature. Um, and this can be literally anything, any technical difficulties. All right, so, that is all for GM. Thank you so much for coming. And please, please go onto the Discord, chat with our officers, make friends, and learn more about the wonderful community at ACM. And here are some of our super cool links so that you can stay in touch with us throughout the year. Thank you.